Radio Cayman's Local Sports, I'm Dion Anglin. The Minister for Youth and Sports was quite impressed with the five athletes that jetted off to Tokyo to represent the Cayman Islands at this year's Olympic Games. The Honourable Bernie Bush says despite the unforeseen circumstances due to COVID-19, he was so incredibly proud of how Gillian Crooks, Brett Fraser, Kimar Hyman, Shalissa Ray and Reagan Rutty represented the islands during Tokyo 2020. Each of our athletes gave thrilling performances which impressed me. They were exciting to watch and this you must keep in mind is that the most prestigious athletic event in the world. These were a highly unusual games though. The pandemic not only delayed it by a year but they also denied many athletes the opportunity to compete in front of one of the largest live audiences in the world. I look forward to meeting each of the delegates when they return in due course. I want to hear about their Olympic stories and I express my appreciation personally. Minister Bush also salutes the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee and its delegation, but he kept the focus on the younger athletes who performed on the world's biggest sporting platform for the very first time. I must also thank the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee for its administrative stewardship of Team Cayman before, during and after the Tokyo Games. I must say, We showcased the growing talent of Cayman's younger Olympians. These games were notable for the spirited performance, in our case of Team Cayman also. The first time Olympians gained invaluable experience in top flight competition, which will help them prepare for the next set of big games, and they in turn can tell their other teammates what it's like and maybe give them the dream of working harder to reach higher. The Cayman Islands' 11-person team included five athletes. The Cayman Islands Olympic Committee Chef de Michon Janet Sersing manages and coaches. The 33rd Olympic Games will take place in Paris in 2024. The Department of Sports Netball Camp sees just about 40 kids aged 6 to 16 years at the John Gray Gym this week. The camp provides young and potential netballers the opportunity to take to the court during the school holidays for a nothing but netball experience. Camp Director Coach Laverne Ebanks said fun games and match play is the ultimate day for junior netball lovers. Today's camp is coming on great. The kids came out energetic. First we did a welcome. Then we did a prayer and the national anthem. So after that, we went into our warm-up and after the warm-up, we went into various stations. We have young ones, age six, they've never done netball before. So they're just learning the fundamentals and the bigger ones are actually helping the younger ones to come along. But we have them pair off in group according to their abilities and everybody seems to be happy, having fun. What are you looking for when, when you hold a camp like this? What exactly are you looking for as coach? At this stage, all I'm looking for is participation. Because as you can see, we have also boys are here. You know, I just want the kids to come out. It's about fundamental learning coordination, learning footwork, balancing, because As you know, netball and basketball go hand in hand because each skill helps the other discipline. Alrighty, so have you seen any potential? Potential, yes. I just saw great, some great shooting from the older ones. And we have the height as well, you know. I've seen some agility work. Even the younger ones, they don't have it as yet, but I could see the eagerness. And they just want to play, just want to keep moving. We have some shy ones that I know that we have to work. But by Friday, they'll be better. They'll be better. (laughs) The netball camp is packed full with top quality coaching, a range of match play opportunities and brand new games, activities and team building sessions. The camp continues this week through Friday 13th from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon. And the Department of Sports track and field camp got off to an exciting start this week. Despite the rainy weather conditions, Mustang Track Club coach Tyrone Yen says the turnout, 32 campus, has been quite impressive with kids on various skill levels. Best thing that I've seen is that most of the kids who actually have done some form of track, they're not here, you know, and, and you know, that, that's a blessing because, of course, we are always looking for new talent and we're always looking for kids you know to to join the program so that was good and the turnout so far yesterday was great this um today also as you said unfortunately the weather is not permitting us to to finish our last session but all in all i think it has been great so far and we just hope and trust that the remainder of the week we will have good weather and and the turnout will continue to 
be the same and the kids will enjoy themselves. Amongst the group, Coach Yen says they have recognized quite a few talented athletes in the making. Well, so far, you know, we have, we have identified a few kids and of course we will be trying to reach out to their parent and, um, you know, encourage them to, to have them join the program in the afternoons. You know, there are several clubs that have training programs here, so whichever team they wish to join, then so be it. But certainly we will be encouraging the talent that we have seen. The athletics camp is held at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex for kids 10 to 17 years from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. That'll do it for Radio K-Man's Local Sports. For this evening, I'm Dion Anglin.